Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Today I want to talk about all the accessories and everything that is coming with a Tesla Model 3 Highland in the rear wheel drive version. Why I'm doing this video? Well, actually I was a bit confused about certain things that I hear in other videos, probably most of the time in America. For example, regarding floor mats and certain charging cables. So I just wanted to talk about what I have in the car besides the obvious, like the autopilot and the car itself with tires. But yes, so first of all, I have bought the car in Sweden. And as I already said, it is the rear wheel drive version. First, let's talk about the floor mat situation. I have watched an American YouTuber who said that the rear wheel drive version is not coming with floor mats. And I was a bit like, mm, having floor mats is always a good thing. Of course, he also told me like, if you have the Tesla floor mats, they are supposedly very hard to be cleaned and not really high quality. So he would suggest to get like all weather floor mats that are kind of like plastic that don't really suck in the water, in the cotton or whatever. But as you can see, I have the floor mats in the front seats and also the one in the back one, because I was thinking like maybe they don't give the one in the back, but yeah, there it is. However, I will also probably switch to those all weather floor mats because I'm living in Sweden and going into your car during winter and always carrying a lot of water and dirt and snow, I just think it would be smart to not rely on the ones that are really good keeping water inside. So I also think it's better to switch to ones that are easy to clean. But that was the thing that I was actually the most skeptical about, that it's not coming with them. It's just something good that you can take them out. I'm very happy that it's coming with them. The second thing I want to talk about is the chargers that are coming with the Tesla Model 3. And that is also something that I was a bit curious about because I have read that Tesla is not delivering the cars anymore with the normal household plug. However, as you can see right here, I have both Tesla cables. So in the black box right here, we have the normal charging cable for the household. So there it is. And we have the charging here. So that is pretty nice to really have it like Basically use it everywhere where you need it. Of course, this is a very slow charger, so don't expect to fully charge your car in one night or in one day. And also sorry for the mess. This is actually the, the wrapping that was around that thing. And of course you also have the cable that you use for like city charging when you're not at the fast charger or if you have a destination charger or a different brand at home to kind of charge your car a bit faster. So yeah, but I have not opened it up yet. Of course I will also open it up, but I like it like this because I just don't need it right now. And then of course, as every car I should do nowadays, I, it also has a, yeah, basically a mat kit <laughs> with all the necessary things in there. I actually have not even checked. Yeah, but I think it's the normal stuff. Yeah, first aid, mask. What is this? Ah, okay, vest probably scissor yeah the normal thing and then at the end you have another few things that you are basically taking away the first time you're taking a seat in your car for example this thing which is hanging right here in the middle in this case like in sweden it just gives you an instruction hey go to the app menu then go to a certain thing and there you can watch the uh, tutorials to get used to your car. There's also a QR code on here giving you further information and another thank you note basically. So I just have kept it because it's my first Tesla so I think I will at least not throw it away right now. Another thing that I also have not looked through actually is right here another small piece of paper with a lot of information that are good to have when you take your car, when you take the delivery. So for example, it tells you how to set up your phone as a key for the car, and it gives some information about the insurance. So in Sweden, when you buy a Tesla, they are coming with 14 days of insurance for free. So you have this amount of time basically to figure out if you want to continue the insurance with the company. In Sweden, it is Drukhansa. 
they also will send you an offer. In my case, they have sent me the offer, but I have not fully checked through them. I also want to check what my own bank would offer me. So that is something that I will check through tomorrow. And then it just tells you how to book a service appointment if something is wrong with your car and also where you can find the manual of the car. Those are those information papers. And then you have one last thing that is very important and this is this small little thing right here where you have both the key cards for the car. In my case only one is in here because the other one I already put in my wallet because even though I only use my phone as a car key, I always think like what happens if your battery is dead, then you really need the key card, unless you have like a different device where the Tesla app is running on, for example, like an Apple watch or something like this. It's always good to have at least one card with you and maybe have the other one somewhere safe at home if something happens. And that is actually it. Nothing more that the Tesla is coming with. At least I cannot think of anything else. I have not found anything else. In the front, there is nothing there yet, but I think I will put the charging cables there if they get dirty. That's just always the best thing. For example, if you don't have those all weather floor mats, you can always put them right here in the front. So that is something that I really, really like. Of course, it doesn't look like too much space, but I still think that you could fit at least all the things that you would put in a small suitcase easily in here. Of course, not with the whole shape, but it's still nice to have. One thing that I would be really happy with, with of course, would be that this thing would be automatic, but it's, it's okay. You don't use it that often. So, and that is basically all that the Tesla Model 3 rear wheel drive is coming with. I personally think I will have to make at least some shopping regarding some accessories. Like I already said, the uh, all-weather floor mats, but there are also other things that are necessary for me. And the biggest one is regarding camping. So I want to camp in this car. I want to take drives of like four or five hours on one day, take like a hike or something like this in the area, sleep there and then come back the next day without having like the stress to be stuck somewhere. And here I can sleep in the car, it is really nice. So what do I need for that? Well, of course I need to have at least something to darken up the car. And I was thinking about like tinting the back windows, but as of right now, this is just too expensive for me. So I have to make something else. And that is like having those shades, like those covers that you can put on at the night, especially during the summertime. Also because you have all the light coming from here. So camping in this car during the Swedish summer, it is getting very bright. And of course you also get the heat when the sun is not setting or not really setting. So it just makes sense for me to buy those things as one of the first things that I will be buying. Okay, is there anything else where I think like, I would need it. Well, there is one thing I, and I actually want to try it out. There are mattresses actually made for the Teslas that also fit in those holes and in the gaps that you have between the front seats and the back seats when you flip them. And you also have like those shapes, like I will include a picture, that go to the door area so that you don't have holes between the door and your head. I think like one of those mattresses would be really cool in the future. As of right now, I will be using my air mattress when I have it. I have to go back to Germany to pick it up first, but that is definitely something that I think about that would be nice to have. And besides that, I really think the car itself is already really, really cool like it's supposed to be. One thing that I maybe think about, but I don't think I will do it is like getting a different suspension that you have like a higher crown clearance, but of course you also lose range. And maybe I will just wait in the future to then buy a refreshed Model Y, also better for camping, but this is something that I don't really think about in the near future. And one important thing, how could I forget about it? Definitely some screen protectors, because as of right now, there's no screen protection on there. And especially on the screen back there, I want to have a protector because if people are going there and I just want to have something where I feel like, yes, it would be good to have at least protected somewhat from scratches. So with that said, I think it's time to finish off with this video. Please let me know in the comments if you also got 
both the charging cables and also all floor mats when you were buying the Model 3 rear wheel drive or standard version. Also feel free to maybe include some certain accessories that you use during your daily drives where you think like, I definitely should have it, that I just don't think of right now. I'm really hoping to get some comments that maybe will also make my experience in this car even better. Okay, with that said, well, have a wonderful day, guys, and see you in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.